Hey there. Let's talk about ND filters. Freewell sent me these ND filters around uh, a month ago. Instead of me just grabbing these filters, sitting behind the desk and talking about how I filmed a bunch of leaves with these ND filters, I actually spent a month testing them out on different projects. Actually, the last four YouTube videos you've seen on our channel were, well, pretty much shot all on these filters. I've also used it on client work. Uh, here's one video I made. It's, it's nothing serious, but hey, it was a fun test. And then there's this big commercial I unfortunately cannot talk about because I signed an NDA and uh, it's one of the biggest commercials we've ever done in our lives and uh, yeah we use these filters and it was an amazing experience so hopefully I'm gonna be able to share with that project with you soon but it was amazing anyway let's talk about these two filters this is the Freewell 2 to 5 stop ND filter and this is the 6 to 9 stop ND filter yeah let's just talk about the overall build quality it's amazing I love the build quality of this thing it's easy to screw on the lens it's solid because I've already dropped this once and it didn't break it doesn't have any scratches I once accidentally put it in a pocket where there was keys and coins and it still didn't scratch so that was perfect they're very light they're it's just amazing the build quality nothing to complain about it's really really nice and plus it looks dope especially with these uh, hopefully it's gonna focus probably not but it has these red lines which is really nice really nice it looks premium the price is just hundred and ten dollars so for that price you just cannot go wrong I recommend these filters for everybody rarely ever there's a product which really Really excites me but since I'm using this every single time I go out of the house right now I love these products they are amazing uh, my daily driver has been the Tiffin variable ND filter which I'm using right now to shoot this video with but it does have a little bit of a green tint these ones don't have a tint at all maybe they just make the image a little bit warmer but I actually like that look so no complaints there so the 2 to 5 ND stuff filter I have I use it 90% of the times but I have mixed feelings about uh, about it and uh, let me tell you why so the first time when I put it on the lens it was I don't know it felt like it was blocking barely any light I was like okay let, let me just twist it to five stops and still it wasn't blocking a lot of light at all I was like okay maybe I need to use the six to nine uh, stop ND filter I put that filter on and suddenly all the image is dark I'm like what it's there there can't be such a major difference between five and six stops who knows maybe I just don't know anything about ND filters but I don't think that it works that way then I unscrewed it screwed it back on and that issue was still present I was like uh, I mean okay whatever I guess the next shoot I put this filter on again and suddenly everything is dark I was like what then when I went to five stops I also saw the X a little bit the legendary X you usually see from ND filters and I don't know just it felt like this was a completely different filter I was using I unscrewed it screwed it back on and again it just wasn't dark at all I don't I have no idea what happened uh, I have no explanation for this it just felt weird maybe I got a faulty unit but right now uh, for the last three or four projects I haven't really experienced any issues so that's great but uh, yeah that was really weird when it comes to the six to nine stop ND filter I haven't had absolutely any issues it's perfect for broad daylight or uh, daytime time lapses uh, I haven't really used it that much I have used it for time lapses and projects uh, you know some specific shots which were in daylight like this but uh, it's great I love it no issues there perfect they also come with these uh, these magnetic systems right but uh, I don't really care about it too much on the 69 stop ND filter since I don't use it that much the magnets are still strong still durable everything is fine but on the 2 to 5 stop ND filter since it's on my camera like 90% of the times after only a couple of shoots already the magnetic system already kind of broken it's it's just not durable at all anymore the slightest little wiggle and it's off oh uh, by the way there is an issue uh, with both of these filters I kind of don't like it's not a major issue but uh, it was kind of pissing me off sometimes okay so check this one out so let's say I screw on the two to five stop ND filter right screwed on right now not very tightly but usually when I'm running and gutting I'm not like screwing it on super tightly and if I just want to change it from two to five stops check this out I have to rotate the opposite way and if I wrote you see it unscrews so I screw it back on again now it's pretty tightly and if I want to go from two to five now you see it still unscrews a little bit so this means that I have to make sure it's screwed on really tightly and then when I go from two to five stops then it's all right yeah you you do have to be aware of that because uh, it does sometimes get a little bit annoying so yeah overall what can I say about these hard stop ND filters 
they're amazing. It doesn't have a weird tint to it, it just works. It doesn't affect the sharpness at all from what I saw. It's portable, it's mobile, it looks dope, it's well built. Guys, I'm gonna straight up tell you, it's worth the money. For 110 bucks, finding a better alternative than these, it's very difficult, it's very difficult. So yeah, if you just want dope looking filters, which are not gonna destroy your bank, <coughs> Peter McKinnon's <coughs> variable ND filters, <laughs> I think this is the way to go because for just $220, you can get both of these filters, the two to five stop and the six to nine stop ND filters. And you're good to go, man, you're good to go. If you're just filming with that one camera, $220 and you're gonna get some fantastic filters. Please check out the links in the description. But if you just click a like on this video and maybe subscribe and click the bell icon, I would appreciate it even more because that helps a lot. You know, YouTube hasn't really been uh, <laughs> fancying our videos lately, so we haven't really been getting a lot of views. Uh, which is no worries, but still it's nice to get at least 1k views per video. So yeah, I would really really appreciate if you could just like the video and subscribe for the algorithm. Thank you so much guys for watching. You know we love you all and uh, have an awesome day. You know the drill. Peace out.